Hey everyone, how's it going? It's your boy Krabzy Crypto. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you some algorithms to use if you have a little bit of a lower end graphics card or even a CPU as well. Because these algorithms I'm going to show you are actually profitable on CPU mining. Now the reason why I kind of highlighted the CPU there as like a bigger factor is because CPU mining has been kind of like obsolete or not as popular lately or as for like the last while but lately it's kind of been picking up again in popularity and there's been new algorithms to use for your CPU in order to make them profitable obviously depending on your CPU. I have a little bit older of CPUs and I'm still making some profit on it so it's obviously like a good thing but anyways let's get right into this i'm going to be showing you the gpu algorithm first i mainly use this for my three gigabyte graphics cards and also my four gig because it's profitable for both i have a mobile four gigabyte graphics card so the algorithms that normally work on four gigabyte graphics card aren't the best with mine so i've kind of had to work with it to find better algorithms well the algorithm that i'm going to be showing you is kryptonite gpu and as you see where my cursor is, it's highlighted right here. And it's actually a pretty profitable uh, algorithm to mine. The, it's only meant for GPUs, so it's ASIC resistant, so you don't have ASIC miners on it. So it makes it more viable option, obviously, and profitable for GPUs. But in order to get started with the Kryptonite GPU, you first have to download the miner Crypto Dredge. And you can just go to CryptoDredge.org or just go on Google and type in Crypto Dredge. And then you can just click the latest version here and it'll bring you to this page and depending on your CUDA driver you download that or your operating system you have Windows and then Linux as well down there. So it works on both OS's so that's a plus there. So I'm just going to go ahead and download it with you guys. I don't have this is not like my mining rig. I'll be switching to a different like video of like me running it on my mining rig but on this computer here I'm going to show you how to set up the config file so that way you can run it on your mining rig. All right, so just for example purposes, I'll just get the 10.2 one here and it's just going to download and it might pop up, you know, this is malicious software or whatever. It's just because it's not a verified uh, publisher and all miners get Nick does that. But once you have it downloaded, as you see down on the bottom bar here, it's fully downloaded. You just want to go to your download folder and then you just want to extract it. I have 7-zip as you see right here. So you're just going to click extract to and then the file name or the folder name sorry and it's gonna pop up like that but what you want to do right after that is you want to click the start menu and go to your settings and you want to go to update and security and you want to go to windows security and you go to virus and threat protection you just wait for that and then you just want to click the manage settings right here and once you're under manage settings you want to go to add or remove exclusions and what this is going to do like as you see here I have all these folders is it pretty much just bypasses the uh, virus scan and like the software allows you to use it so what you uh, want to do is click add an exclusion and then you click add folder and then the window will come up I don't know if it's working in the recording sometimes it glitches out but you just want to go to the downloads folder and then select the crypto dredge folder and then click select folder and then click yes and then it's going to add it to the list of exclusions so that way it allows an unverified publisher like i said it's all safe and everything it's just because it's not a verified like top name publisher so once you have it all downloaded and added as an exclusion you just want to go to the folder here and then it's going to come up with like all these different files you're going to look at what i usually do is just go into like the batch files which is what's going to run your um, miner you can also go to the readme and it'll give you like all the algorithms it does and everything. We'll quickly open that up. And as you see here, it tells you to specifically like type what algorithm you're going to do. But we'll be doing the Kryptonite GPU, which is right here, CN GPU. So if you ever see that, that's Kryptonite GPU. In some miners, it's fully typed out. In other miners, it's just a short form, just like this one. But what we're going to do is just right click on one of these batch files. I'll just go with this one and we'll click edit. So as it comes up here, you see there's a title and everything. And then you have the crypto dredge and then your stratum and your wallet address and such. So what you want to do is come over to Zerg pool. And once you're on Zerg pool, you want to go scroll down a bit on the home page and you're going to have the minor command line generator. And what you want to do is click region and then whatever region you're in, you select it. And then for the algorithm, obviously, like I said, we're doing Kryptonite GPU. So you want to select that from the drop down. 
and then you can select your payout currency also i'll just do doge for example here so as you see here it spits out this full like command line like prompt thing what i mainly just do is just grab the uh pool url here like the stratum and then you copy it and then what you want to do is open that config file and then you'll put that to replace it right here so replace the old stratum and then you'll have the kryptonite one there and then for username you want to put like the wallet address for the coin you're mining so for me i would put like my dogecoin wallet address there and then for password as you see here uh dash p and then c equals doge so what you want to do i'll just type it here so you guys can visually see it you'll go c equals doge or whatever coin you're doing and then make sure whatever coin you're doing has a corresponding wallet right there and kryptonite gpu is a pretty profitable um, algorithm depending on your graphics card for my gtx 1060 3 gigabyte cards i'm pulling in about a dollar forty dollar fifty each i only have one running and then i have my gtx 1650 4 gigabyte and that pulls in like a dollar sixty or more so i make roughly about three dollars a day which is not bad compared to some other algorithms i have showed you guys and this one's consistent between like 250 and three dollars and that's just on these older cards and i'll be showing you the cpu mining next here but what we're going to do now as you see here we have all this set up and ready to go i'm obviously just not going to change the wallet address or anything because i'm not going to be running this one but what I usually do is just to make it a little cleaner, you want to open up the readme here and then you just want to highlight whatever algorithm you're doing. So kryptonite GPU and then you just kind of fix this up here. You just make it look a little nicer. You know what I mean? So title, <coughs> I'll just put the kryptonite GPU and then you can put whatever pool you want. This is just to make it look cleaner so you have it all organized and everything. But yeah, uh, one last thing too before we start, I just about forgot this. You want to have the readme open and then you want to change it to the algorithm here. So CNGPU, we'll do that, copy that, and where it says MTP or whatever, so dash A, which stands for algorithm, you just want to paste CNGPU and if that doesn't work, just fully type out Kryptonite GPU just like that sorry if that was a little confusing i totally forgot that part so yeah where it says dash a where the algorithm is you want to put whatever algorithm you are mining so in this case kryptonite gp and all you do is file save and then you just run it just double click it and run it but i'm going to jump over to my mining rig just to show you guys it all running and everything all right guys so i'm over on my mining rig here i'm just recording it this way because i really don't want to start a screen recording session on the mining rig just in case for lag or anything but as you see here i have the kryptonite gpu opened up and i have the same like command file this is through crypto dredge so once you have it open this is pretty much what it's going to look like it's going to show you all the accepted shares and if it's all connected and you set it up right you will start seeing these green accepted. I've been running it for a while, so as you see, it's quite a bit of accepted shares. But that's my hash right there, 1,562 hashes. I've tweaked it a bit with the MSI afterburner just to keep the temperature control. And that's my uh, 1650 there, and then my 1060 runs at like 48 degrees. I'd like to try to keep it cool, just being in Canada. I crank the window open since it's winter time, and I try to keep it like cool conditions, as you see here. This is my rig setup. My one 1060 is kind of out of commission up there. I'm waiting on some thermal paste to come in and then I'm gonna add that to the rig also. Then I'll have three cards total and yeah, that'll be fully running. But now I'm gonna show you guys the CPU mining. All right guys, so for the CPU mining, it's gonna be on the same website, the zergpool.com. It's just gonna be with a different mining software and it's gonna be a different algorithm, obviously. So the one algorithm that we're gonna look at, I'll just scroll down to it. It's right here, the script N2, and right now it's fairly profitable with at least like AMD CPUs and as well as Intel, so pretty much all CPUs. I just don't know about like lower, lower end ones. Right now I'm running an AMD A10 5800K, and it has, a, uh, I believe it's quad core, and it has four threads. So it's nothing too crazy, it's a little bit older of a CPU nowadays. 
but it still pulls in 30, 50, 60 cents. I know it's kind of like a wide range there, but it all just depends because my CPU is a bit older. So there's a script N2, and then there's also another one that I've been trying out a little bit, and this is going to be up to you if you want to try this one. It's the YE script R16, and this is another good one for uh, CPU mining. It's fairly profitable. It pulls in roughly the same amount on my CPU, so anywhere from like 30 to 60 cents. So both those algorithms that yet the YE script R16 and the script N2 are both around like the same profitability for me. But obviously newer motherboards might do well or if you just have like a strong core based uh, CPU. So right now on my CPU mining rig, I have it just running through Awesome Miner. So I really didn't have to set up like the mining software itself. But I'm still going to show you guys in case you don't use Awesome Miner or just want to do your own software here. So what you want to do is look for SRB Miner. It's a multi CPU and GPU miner. So you can disable GPUs and just do CPU. You can use both of them. It's whatever you choose. But once you're on their website, you just want to click the download button here. And it's going to bring you to the GitHub. So you just download from GitHub. And it's going to give you your selection depending on your operating system. But I'm on Windows. So we're just going to download Win64. And we're just going to let that download here. And then we're going to do the same process as we did for the Crypto Dredge one. But as you see here, this one popped up with Google saying it may be like dangerous, whatever. So you just click keep because it's an unverified publisher. It's really, it's not going to harm anything. And then what you want to do is just close that out. And then you want to go to your download folder again. And then you want to extract it. I'm just going to zoom through this because we've done it already. And once you extract it, you go to your settings once again updated security, windows security, virus and threat protection, manage settings. You go down and you click add or remove exclusion again and you click add folder and then you're going to click the SRB multi uh, whatever version you're using for your operating system and then you click yes and that will add it as the exclusion. Alright so once we have it added as an exclusion it's going to be the same process here. You're going to select your region, the algorithm. So for this one, I just got to find it here. Um, script N2. So oh, I'm just going to keep it as Doge there. And then what you want to do is open up the SRB multi. <clears throat> and once it's opened up here, you just want to scroll down until you find one of these that you want to edit to change. Um, we'll just go with the first one here. Sometimes it's a little different per one here, but all right. Um, this one seems to be a disable CPU, so we'll just move, remove that because we want to, if anything, we'll disable GPU. So if you just want to do this uh, CPU mining, you're best off to start with this command, disable GPU, and then that way it'll just have the CPU running. And then algorithm, like I said, you just got to type in which one that you're doing. Scripts N2. And then for the pool, it's just like before. You copy the stratum over. Go up here. Go to pool. And then you paste. And then your wallet, obviously, you post that there like... It'll have it right here, so you can just literally copy this even if you wanted and paste it right into here. So I'll just do that quickly just to show you guys. So what we'll do is we'll do that after the disabled GPU. We'll go like this, paste, and perfect, just like that, see? And then for after the dash U, you put your wallet address and then the password is whatever coin you select it and just make sure the wallet address is for the doge there so that's going to be the srb miner setup sorry if that was a little like rough i'm still kind of new to the cpu mining so i'm still getting into that but i figured since i found these profitable algorithms for lower end cpus and gpus and stuff i had to share them with you guys i know it's been a while since i posted but I just took a little bit of a break and I want to get things rolling again. I want to try to be more consistent with my uploads. I'm going to try to work hard to get this going and get like news videos out, tutorials, all different types of things. 
But now, once we have all this set up, we're just going to do the same thing and click File, Save. And then what you'll do is you'll just run it and then it will run uh, the CPU mining. Once you have it up and running, it should all be connected. And what you want to do, I forgot to mention this with the first part of it. If you want to look up your wallet address for on Zerg Pool to see how like your mining is going, you just want to go to the top here and then you just want to click wallet. And then it's going to bring you to the wallet page and you want to type in or paste your wallet address. And then you want to select the, cor the corresponding coin that you're mining. So if you put a Doge address in there, you just want to go and find uh, Doge. And that will be at the top because it's a top currency payout. So you just right click and click paste and then you click find. You can register it as well so like people know that you own the wallet and everything. But right now we're going to jump over to my CPU miner. I'll just show you it running on my CPU mining. Alright guys, so this is out on my CPU miner, just out my living room here. As you see, we're running the SRB miner here, the multi miner, and we're running the script, the script N2 algorithm. As you see there, it's accepting the shares. <clears throat> but as you see, I run it through Awesome Miner, so that way I can just keep track of profits and everything. Right now it's running up in the 33% profit, so it's not bad. I mean, I don't pay for hydro, so this is all just free, like, cryptocurrency, I guess you can say for me. So it all just ties in well if you have cheap electricity or don't really pay for it at all. But yeah, overall it runs smoothly. I don't really have an issue. It hasn't crashed. I haven't tried, like, overclocking with any of these, like, CPUs or GPUs or anything of the sort. But hopefully this is this tutorial helped you guys and hopefully you can get CPU mining. Well guys I hope this tutorial overall helped you guys. I know it was like a little longer than probably I anticipated even but I want to make sure you guys fully understand the GPU and CPU mining like I always say every tutorial. I like thoroughly going through so everybody can understand it and if there's any questions I try my best to answer the comments as you guys have previously seen. I like to interact with you guys. I like to have the community base, like the community driven part of this YouTube. And feel free to help others in the comments. That's always a good thing. I want to have a helping and positive community with mining here. But if you have any questions or if you have any other algorithms that might work, you want me to check out, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, overall, I hope this helped you guys and hopefully you can get started with CPU or GPU mining. But this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.